Hi kids. In this video, I'm going to show you how to color your Picasso cubism picture that we made last week using chalk. That's what we're going to be using today to color this picture. So I want to show you the techniques where you can see really big here on the screen. You're going to get uh, a package of chalk like this with all the different colors. I'm going to give you some tissue that we're going to use for blending and you should get your picture back and also a piece of paper like this to have under your work so we're not making too much of a mess on your desk. All right, let's get started. With each part that we color of this drawing, we're going to do three steps. The first step is to outline. The second step is to shade in lightly. And the third step is to blend. So for every part that we do, we're going to do those three steps. Let's start with this side of the face. Remember the example I showed you where I had two different colors for the two sides of the face. I'm going to make this side of his face blue. So I'm going to take uh, some blue chalk. And I'm going to start with that first step, which was outline. And when I outline, I'm going to outline just inside my black line. Do you see how I'm doing that? Following along the shape, just right inside the line. Got to trace around the mouth like that. So that's step one, outline. Then step two is to shade. Now when I shade, I want to shade really lightly. I don't want to draw as dark as I did here with my outline. If it's a big area, you could lay the chalk down on its side like that and just rub with the side of the chalk. Do you see how I'm doing that? I have to be careful though not to go over other things. So, you know, I have to be careful here to go around the eye and things like that. If the area that you're shading is too small to rub with the chalk, you can use the end of the chalk to shade in, but you have to make sure you're doing it really lightly. Do you see how much lighter that was? Okay, I'm going to put that blue piece of chalk back in my box. And now I'm going to take the piece of tissue for blending. So when I blend, I'm just going to kind of bunch the tissue up into a little bit like that. And I'm going to use the tissue to rub the chalk. But I don't want to just rub all over because if I rub out of the lines, the chalk is going to go off the lines. So instead, I want to use this tissue almost like I'm drawing or coloring with the tissue. And you see what happens when I'm blending that, how it smooths it out and fills it in. Just want to try to stay in the lines and do that as neatly as I can for that whole section. Now, if you do that and there's extra dust, can you see the extra dust on there? You can blow the extra dust away or shake the extra dust off like that. Let's do a different color for the other side of his face. I think I'm going to make the other side of his face green. You can choose the colors that you want to do. So I'm going to do those same steps. Outline first. And then lay the chalk down and shade it really lightly. And then use my tissue and blend. Remember when we're blending, we're rubbing that chalk carefully, trying to stay in the lines the best we can. It's okay if it's not perfect, just do your best like always and get rid of the extra dust. There we go. I'm gonna do like I did on the other example where I did a blue ear on the green side and a green ear on the blue side. Outline it, shade it in lightly, and rub it. Blend it in. There we go. I'm going to give this boy brown eyes. Outline with my brown, shade him in lightly, and blend them. When you do the eyes, color in the little circle of the eyes and leave the other part of the eye white. I'm going to give him a green neck to match uh, those parts of his skin. Outline, shade it in, and blend it. So you just get used to doing those three steps with every part we color with this chalk. Okay, how about a red shirt for this boy? I want to show you something neat that we can do with this chalk. 
I can blend two colors together. So if I make his shirt red on top, but yellow down here, and I'm gonna shade the top part in red by laying that chalk on its side and rubbing. I'm gonna shade the bottom part yellow And then I'll take my tissue and blend it together. Blend the red right into the yellow and the yellow right into the red. And you can see how neat that looks. Now, did you notice that when I was coloring the shirt, which came all the way down to the bottom paper, do you see how I moved my paper up a little bit? So the extra chalk was getting on my blue paper and not on my desk. All right, let's do the hair. I'm going to do the hair in a similar way. I'm going to use brown and yellow to do his hair, to give him kind of a blondish brown hair. So I'm going to outline one side with the brown. I'm going to outline the other side. I'm going to use this kind of orangey yellow this time. Shade one side with the yellow. Shade the other side with the brown. I also want you to notice that every time I'm done with a piece of chalk, I put it back in the box. That helps keep my table nice and neat, too. If I have chalk all over my desk, it's going to make my desk a lot more messy. Now I'm going to take my tissue, and I'm going to blend between that brown and that yellow to give them that blondish brown hair. And when you are done with that, the last thing to do is the outside part out here. And when I do this, I'm going to turn my paper sideways so that it fits on my blue paper a little bit better. And I'm going to pick a color for the background. I'm going to try to pick a color maybe that I didn't use at all yet. I never used purple for this one, so I'm going to use purple for his background. And for this one, I'm just going to go right to the rubbing. So no outline. I just lay the chalk down. And I'm just going to rub all around this background. Try not to get it on him anywhere, all the way around. Then I can use my tissue to rub and smooth it out. There we go. Picture is all colored. Looks really cool with chalk, doesn't it? Now we have a few things we need to do to clean up. You're going to bring your picture up and give it to Mr. Frost. We're going to close up our box of chalk after all the pieces of chalk are in there. Close that up. Take our picture to Mr. Frost. And then this paper should get folded, closed, and thrown away. So we're not getting that chalk all over everything. After you throw that away, Mr. Frost will give you a wipe, and you can use that wipe to get the chalk off your hands. And then after you use the wipe to get the chalk off your hands, use the wipe to clean your table. Okay, clean off your desk. Get rid of all that last little bit of chalk. Make sure that you clean your hands before you clean your desk. And then that wipe should get thrown away also. Well, boys and girls, that is how we use chalk to color our Pablo Picasso cubism face. Now it's your turn to do yours. All right, boys and girls, see you soon.